Hello, Eduardo. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lorena. How are you, Lorena? Uh, today I'm sad. I'm sad. You're because, sad? Yeah, sad. Why? What's the problem, Lorena? What happened? Because Pueblo Viejo Festival was born yesterday. Oh. <laughs> and I like to what go. What happened? Dance. Remember that I'm go, I like to go to dance to Pueblo Viejo restaurant right what happened when, um, last night it was born it was born it burnt no you don't know you didn't know <laughs> no i didn't i'm i you know what i'm so bad um i don't watch news <laughs> i don't know i never watch news because it it makes me depressed so I never, I never watch news, and I don't, I didn't know about that. What happened? I don't know what, what happened exactly, but someone of the class, I, I was so, so surprised that someone from the class uh, sent me a, a, a video with the, uh, with all of the people there and was the, the fire. Fire, and I said, and she said, I, I remember about you. You like to go there. I like. <laughs> Oh no, and, and did everything burn, Lorena, or no, just no, no, part no. of the restaurant? The, yeah, the, the part of the, of the restaurant. But I, I don't, I, I, okay, but, but it's going to be shut down for some time. Yeah, it has to be. Uh -huh. Then you, you can go to dance for Friday, 15, 14. <laughs> Oh no, that's bad. But you know what, Lorena? Maybe you don't know. Maybe that 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 is going to save your life. You know, sometimes <laughs> you never know. You maybe maybe you could have gotten sick if you if you continued going. So maybe in the end it was something good, right? So, <laughs> so look at it through that in that point of view. I had to look for another place. <laughs> I mean, no, nothing is going to stop Lorena from going dancing. I have to do it because I need to to dance. Then, you need you. Need <laughs> to dance. Just put put a put a, a a disco ball in your house and put some music and dance. It's a, a good idea. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Who says you have to go out to dance? You can have fun in your house too. Because inside you have the, the happiness, outside. Inside you have what, Lenana? Happiness? Yes, correct. The happiness? La felicidad? Oh, happiness, yes. Happiness, correct, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, I, I, I totally agree, yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, well, let me say hi to the rest of you. I haven't said it. hi to Alma or Carla or Michelle, O Isael, Mauricio, Rosa, Anna, and Janet. How are you? I find things to share. Um, my day is a very busy. I creating the groups in the WhatsApp and a teacher. Um, adding the, the very student. And I went to the doctor in the morning. You went to the doctor in the morning, Alma? Yes, yes. It's a, a checking control. Oh, okay, good. You're not sick. No, no, no. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, uh, hello, Mauricio. How are you? I think very good and trying to overtake the platform. 
What are you trying to do, Mauricio? Very good. And you trying to oversight on the platform. Okay, good, 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 excellent. And actually, um, now that you mentioned the platform, and I have a, a, a big amount, like I have lots of people here. It's not everybody, but I, I'm going to use this time actually to uh, pass a survey. I've been wanting to pass a survey for some time. So let me um, pass the survey. And oh, okay, where is it? I guess there. Okay, so I'm going to send the survey right now, and I want you to um, to give me your answers. Everybody here, you should be able to see the poll, right? I've opened up the poll, and you can um, check all the ones that are applicable. So it says which sections have you finished already, and you can you can choose like the section one, two, three, midterm section four oops sorry guys i made a mistake um the second section four should say section five okay yeah. osa it's a for me mi error so just just pretend that it says section five and then uh, we have the final exam okay so go ahead and check all the ones that apply okay um all right, I have two people that have answered. Okay, four people have answered. I still have more people that need to answer. Okay, um, I'm still waiting for some people. I, I still like have like four people that have not answered. So just make sure that you answer. Eduardo, um, I don't know if you can see the poll. Hay, hay una encuesta, ya la llenó, Eduardo. La encuesta es la que colocó en la pantalla o, es, o hay un test aparte. Le voy a ser muy honesto, honesta. No sé cómo les aparece a ustedes. Eh, ¿Cómo lo cómo encontraron los, los demás? La pantalla. Está en la pantalla y ahí se hace. Ah, ok. Ya les aparece en la pantalla. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, pues sí. Entonces, porque todavía me faltan tres personas que no han metido ahí la, sus respuestas. No aparece mi respuesta. Pues, les soy honesta. Al final no sé tiene que dar han, no, no me parece quiénes son los que han respondido, solo me parece la cantidad de personas que han respondido. Me faltan todavía cuatro por ah, okay. 12, ustedes y solo ocho me han respondido. ¿Y dónde aparece la encuesta, teacher? Me dicen que les debería aparecer en la pantalla. En la pantalla, es, ¿de cuál acceso? De, de este? esta, esta, excuse me, está la parte donde sale la parte donde sale grabando. Sí, correcto. Y ahí solo le da clic y ya le aparece la, la encuesta, solo le da la opción y le da enviar. Sí, yo no, no, yo no la he visto. La, la mira ahí, ok, donde dice grabar. Mira, Ajá. Mira usted dónde dice grabar. Yes. 
Ok, ¿y qué, mira algo a la par? No, solo tiene, donde dice más, eh, grabar en esta computadora, sale el icono. Y luego, ay, ya me salí. <coughs> me salí, creo yo. No, todavía está aquí con nosotros. Es que al parecer el momento que seleccionamos automáticamente se cerró. ¿Cómo fue? Al parecer en el momento en que todos nos pusimos de acuerdo que era lo que íbamos a, hacer, a seleccionar, bueno, por individual, ¿verdad? automáticamente al seleccionar se cerró y ya ¿Y, no aparece. ¿y, ¿Y de qué se trata la encuesta, Tichi? No, pero, pero tiene que, tiene que, um, o sea, si usted no ha, no ha presentado sus respuestas, tendría que todavía estar abierto la encuesta para que usted responda. Pero yo no tengo encuesta, ¿dónde está? No sé. Eh, Ana, are you, are you on a computer or on your cell phone? Computer. Sharing your screen. Uh huh. If somebody can share their screen and so that she can see the the poll. Oh, oh, no. o sea, ah, but la, creo que lo están lo están compartiendo en el grupo, creo. Para los que se acaban de, de, um, de unir, para los que se acaban de unir, eh, uh, ahorita estamos llenando una encuesta que les mandé, les debería aparecer ahí en la encuesta. ¿Hay, hay alguien que puede tal vez um, compartir su pantalla aquí en Zoom? para que podamos ver a dónde les aparece y así le ayudamos a los demás. Teacher, a mí me parece sección 1, 2, 3, mid term, 4, 4, final del examen. Esta es. Y ahí que tengo que hacer, o sea, no entiendo. Selección IT. The question is, which sections have you finished already? That's the question. ¿Qué secciones ha terminado ya? Y eh, les mencionaba de que la sección 4 se me fue. Y lo puse dos veces y la segunda debería ser section 5. Entonces, imagínense que ahí dice section 5. Oh, okay. Y no le puedo contestar verbal. Um, sí, sí, claro. Sí, yo, Solo que me gustaría que aprendiera ahí para. Uh, pero yo no la veo, pues yo no la veo. Entonces, yo cómo voy a contestar. Ok, vamos a hacer una cosa. Hagamos una cosa. Se les voy a volver a, tira, a tirar. Ajá. La, la, la encuesta. Uh, y bye. ahora que ya están todos, o la mayoría, entonces ya va, va a ser más, más fácil. Entonces, ahorita voy a, a volver a mandar. Y la que está incompleta es como que no está terminada. Bye. Ok. So, right now you should see the poll in this moment. Teacher, los que ya lo hicimos también otra vez lo hacemos. Sí. Hoy sí, teacher. Hey, excellent. Eh, 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 yo el 5 solo me falta un, la parte de la eh, de las sent, sentences, la estructura, porque yo creo tenerla bien, pero todas me dan wrong. Mm -hmm. Ok. 
Okay, I just right now I just interested in finding out where you are, like what 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 are these sentences? Oh, sorry, what um, sections have you finished? That's all I really want to know. So the next uh, the next weekend. Um, this weekend, not next one. This this coming weekend. Okay. Okay, because next weekend will be too late. We are finishing next uh, Thursday, so okay. ya, ya no habría tiempo. Okay. Okay, I think we're almost finished. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We have to finish tomorrow. No, no. We finish class next, and next. Thursday. Oh. Bye. Solo me falta una persona más. No sé, no sé a quién me estoy esperando. Hacer una consulta. Yes. I have a question. En cuanto a la sección 3, he finalizado los ejercicios y sin embargo no me parece que esté contando. Me parece cero. You can see so, any que ver con of the Prácticamente la session 3 antes de el medium exam. Y le dio a enviar. Lo más raro es que no me aparece chequecito verde. Y, y, y ha chequeado la parte de arriba como finalizado. Tiene un, como un cuadrito así que cuando uno ya la termina de completar, le da como finalizada. Si no le aparece como que no estuviera terminado. ¿A dónde aparece eso? Eh, eh, cuando inicia el, la sección que, que va a desarrollar, así hay un chequecito al comienzo. Que ese hay que marcarlo. Entonces, Correcto, no, es el que no me aparece. Sí, entonces uno la marca y ya le pone verdecito y ya le aparece en el resumen verdecito. Si no, no le aparece porque eso le, le sirve a uno para recordar si alguna parte no la ha terminado. O la tiene a medias o tiene cosas malas y hay que revisarla. Ok, yeah, yeah. What I, what I can suggest, Eduardo, uh, my, my suggestion is the following. Try opening the platform in another, another device. Okay, so if you're using a computer, open it in another computer and see if maybe in the other yes. computer you can see it, the, the, the progress. Sometimes it helps that way, okay? So try opening in another device. If it still doesn't work, let me know, okay? I don't understand the... That your, your answer were... Oh, okay. Bye. Sometimes the problem is the device, el dispositivo, the device that okay. you use. Okay. So try opening the, the platform in another device, in otro dispositivo, and see if that helps. Okay. okay? Maybe in the other device you can see the result or you can do the exercises in the other device. And if that doesn't work, let me know again, okay? Okay. Y si borrara los datos, con eso tendría que dejarme. ¿Cómo así? Los temporales de la computadora. Lo que sucede es que sí, me parece incompleto. Sí, es como los temporales de internet. Es así, sí, ya me vi. It could be, but if that, try both things. But first, try in the other, the, the other device, another computer, or 
you know and if that doesn't work then you can try maybe um, eliminating and then going again into the, that computer and then if it doesn't okay. work then you can tell me okay perfect all right okay i'm going to end the poll everybody has completed it and i'm going to share your answers um i'm going to share the answers right now you can all see it so these are the answers that's excellent okay so um uh, Nine out of 14 people have finished section one. 10 of, out of 14 people have s finished section two. Nine from 14 people have finished section three. Nine out of 14 people have finished the midterm. Um, four people, sorry, seven out of 14 people have finished the section four. Um, section five is the second one, so it's two out of the 14 people have finished section four, um, five, and the final exam, only two people have finished it. Okay, um, I'm, I'm a little worried because there is no section where all, all the people have finished. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this in Spanish so you understand what I'm, what I'm saying. De lo que yo puedo ver, no hay ninguna sección donde usted, que todos hayan completado. Y eso me preocupa, porque significa que hay personas, por ejemplo, hay personas que todavía no han terminado sección 1, ni sección 2, ni la sección 3. Y eso pues ya los pasamos a ratos, entonces me preocupa eso, al menos que tal vez haya alguien que solamente hizo el chequecito en la que en la que ya estaba trabajando en ese momento y no puso el chequecito en el que ya había completado no sé si 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 les pasó así si ese es el caso pues entonces um, pues no hay mucho problema verdad porque entiendo que ya lo completaron pero sí tendrían que ver con puesto el chequecito a todos los que sí ya se completaron si yo completé en sección 1 tenía que haber puesto que también las, la terminé hasta llegar a donde yo estoy ahorita. Así es que, eh, como les digo, estoy un poco preocupada porque si no veo que no hay ni una sola sección que está completamente terminada por todos. Entonces eso significa que necesitamos trabajar más en la plataforma. Richard, Richard, a cuestión, cuando dice... Yes. Cuando dice... Pero sí, habemos personas que de acuerdo al informe aparece, porque yo sí he terminado, solo el, el examen final que no he terminado. Sí, 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 sí. No, no, yo no, yo, yo no estoy viendo individualmente, lo estoy viendo como clase. Son ah, otras okay. palabras. No hay ninguna sección en que todos en la clase hayan terminado. Ah, ok. Eh, a eso me refiero. Entonces, eh, yo me, que me indica a mí que hay personas que no han terminado esa sección. A eso me refiero. Entonces, no sé quiénes son. No, a mí no me parece quiénes son. Solo sé que no hay personas que no han terminado. Entonces, um, I need you, you guys to work. I really, really need you guys to work on this. Um, I need you to, um, I need you to be able to um, work hard this weekend so that you, um, you know that you are able to complete on time because I don't want you to, to, to fail the the platform or to, um, to lose your 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 scholarship just because you didn't finish it. Okay. Now, um, somebody saying that they're having problems with section four point six and the final exam part D. I will look that I will look into those section during the class. And then I will I will answer at the end of the class, okay? Any questions at this moment? Teacher, no, no es pregunta, pero sí. Yo la primera vez que entramos, creo que vi 23 personas. Entonces ese 64% que se ve ahí corresponde a 15 personas. Y aquí había 15 personas. Entonces quizás todos los que estamos aquí, si terminamos la sesión 1, pero los que ya no se hicieron presentes son los que les faltan. No, the, the, the poll that I just showed you is just from the people that are here, okay? The only people that, that have done the poll 
are you, the people that are in this in this group right now? Not not the people that are not in class. Okay, and and that's a good point because um, the other people, you're right. There are in this class. There should I've seen up to twenty twenty three people connected. I think yes. Um, so that means that there are twenty two students because twenty three with me. Right, so about 22 students. That means that there are about seven people that are not connected right now in the class. Right, so look at it. 22, 22, and there are 14. I would know, eight, eight people. Eight people that are not connected right now. And I don't know how they are doing. I, that's why it's important to be able to connect to, to the class because that way I will be able to help you and everything. But if you don't connect, I don't know what's going on with you. So it, that's very important. Anyways, let's continue the class. Um, I sent to you the PowerPoint presentation that I, that I shared yesterday. Any questions about the PowerPoint presentation? No teacher. Okay, so I'm going to share right now with you um, the PowerPoint presentation. Tell me when you can see it. Can you see it or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. day 11 I'm sorry okay sorry about that so this is English print limited two um, which we're continuing talking about experience uh, appearances facilitator Jessica Guerrero's day number 11 the date is Wednesday February 10th 2021 okay so um, just a reminder of the vocabulary that we used last class um, right, we learned uh, this vocabulary here, and yesterday we added some more information. For example, we saw words like gray hair, which means um, the person um, is like an older person, usually, not all the time, but most of the time, like 90, like maybe 80% of the time, the person has gray hair. It's because they're older, mm -hmm. right? They're mm -hmm. probably somewhere in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Um, we saw hairy. Hairy means, oops, um, hairy means that the person has a lot of hair. Okay. Um, we also saw um, moles right lunaris right and i also explained that um a beauty mark is a mole that makes somebody look beautiful um like sometimes they have it here by their by their lip right or sometimes over here um in, uh, by their chin okay that that would be a, a mole. or sometimes over here some they could put it over here um we have freckles freckles um that are like uh, when a person has, it, usually the freckles is when a person has like red hair, they have a lot of freckles or light, light, um, like blonde hair. And then we have dimples, right? Which are the ones, the, the little holes in the face. Okay. We saw that we have slant eyes. Slant eyes are when um, somebody is like uh, from Asia, like China, Japan. Okay. That's slant. We have expressive eyes, expressive like well, lots of expression, big eyes, okay, big eyes, or almond shaped eyes. Almond shaped is um that the the shape is like an almond, right? Almond almendra, right? So almendrados, right? Right, and and then we can also have small eyes, small eyes, um, small eyes. 
but it is. Or deep set. Oh, sorry. We can have um, deep set. Deep set means um, that the the eyes are very. Um, uh, it's like when you say in Spanish hundidos. Okay. All right. So that that that's also a possibility. I'm giving you lots of vocabulary here so that you can use as many as possible. Um, and then we have the opposite, right? The opposite of hundido would be that it's out, right? So we can say bulging eyes bulging eyes like it's out and um, oh we also have close set close set eyes close set eyes is when a person um, they their eyes are um, to get very very together like have you seen like the the eyes are like towards the center of the of the face does that understand? Does that make sense? Do you understand what I mean? Flat. Sorry, could you repeat that? Discus. The name in Spanish could be said discus. Um, no, 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 not necessarily. It's just the position of the eyes, not not the position that the the two the holes. Mm -hmm. Los ojitos, o sea, están muy juntos. Están, o sea, los ojitos están bien cerca de la, de, 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 del centro de la, de la cara. Mm. Con la diferencia de cuando los ojitos están más para afuera, ¿verdad? Más hacia afuera. Ok, so that's some of the vocabulary there. And... Um, What I'm going to do, oh, yesterday we saw, yesterday we saw um, these, these questions and these answers. Now, uh, we did it very quickly and I just wanted to make sure everybody understood um, what we're talking about here. So, when it says, what does he or she look like? So we can say that she is tall, she is gorgeous. So over here, this is more about opinions. Okay, we can say that opinions or something that is very noticeable, like being tall, okay. Um, also, we can talk about something, a specteristic of a person, like they have a beard or a goatee. Oh, I forgot to mention something. Let, let me go back to um, this vocabulary and put it here. We have here goatee. Remember goatee is what we, we said in Spanish, como candado. And there's another thing that is that is very common, especially for men. We can say that the person has, um, uh, oh my goodness, I've forgotten the word. It's, it's at the tip of my tongue and I've forgotten it. Um, they have um, sideburns. That's the word, sideburns. They, sorry, sideburns. Sideburns. Um, sideburns are when men usually like. Remember what I told you. Uh, a must. Um, the mustache is um, the, the mustache is usually when uh, the person has only the mustache, sorry, that's right, the goatee. The goatee is only when the person has the mustache and part of the beard. And the rest of the beard, which starts from here, the from the side, the, that part right here is called sideburns. Okay, Side, sideburns. Okay, how do you say that in Spanish? Yeah. Patas. Yeah. Uh -huh, patillas. Oh, patillas. Yeah. 
app. I think it's called actually more patillas. You can get it called. Anyways, okay, so that's about that. And um, something else that is very common for people to have in their face is like, for example, their eyebrows. Some people have so um, so thick of a eyebrows that, and I'm going to put it together with the hairy because this goes together with hairy, which is a unibrow. So you have uni brow. So a uni brow is when the person has so much hair on their eyebrows that it looks like one complete. Uno solo. That's a uni brow. Does that make sense? Class, can you hear me? Yes, I, I don't know. Yes, teacher, yes. What are you talking about? Do you know Frida Kahlo? Have you ever heard of Frida Kahlo? Yes, the Mexican. Yeah, the Mexican, the famous Mexican uh, painter. Or, art, yeah, well, she was actually not a painter. She was an artist. Um, so the, the famous Mexican artist, she had a unibrow, right? So it just like um, the, the, the eyebrow all together, once, one complete eyebrow. Okay? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So that's, that's part of it. All right, so we can also, so going back to these questions that we have here. Uh, we can use this to also, what does she look like? She has a unibrow, for example, speaking about Frida Kahlo, for example, okay? We can ask, does she wear, or does he, or does she wear glasses? Um, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. How old is he? You can say he's about 32 years, or he's about 32. Um, uh, about means approximately, it's approximately. Or she is in her early 50s. In her early 50s are like 50, 51, 52, 53. Mid 50s are like 54, 55, 56. And late 50s would be like 57, 58, 59. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, um, so it's clear. This is clear about um, about being in your early fifties, mid fifties, late fifties. Yes, teacher. And also, it doesn't have to be fifties. It could, I'm just saying fifties there, but it could be um, early twenties, mid twenties, late twenties, um, early sixties, early um, not mid sixties late 60s or early 40s early or mid 40s or late 40s okay teacher yes uh, i can say i am the 1.23 meters is this wrong or okay or is... we are we haven't gotten there yet but i will answer that in a moment okay well that's the next question okay um so here yes we're doing talking about um it height how tall is he or how tall is she um the same question is asking what is her height or right what is her height or uh, what is his height and you can you can answer you can answer in both both with uh feet or or meters and in this case we're answering with feet five feet four inches or just five four it's also it i'm actually going to modify this because um, it's not always said, um, it's not always mentioned the feet. Sometimes it's okay to just say she is 5'4", right? And, and that everybody understands that 5'4 means 5 feet, 4 inches, okay? So that, that's possible. And in terms of, um, of uh, meters, you can say he is 1 meter 89. 
normally you're not going to say meters because most people are not two meters tall, right? Um, la mayoría no miden más de dos metros. La mayoría, right? And so unless you say like uh, two meters, um, you know, ten inches, that's super, super tall. Um, and other than that, you can also say one it's also possible to say he is 1.89 meters. Okay? 1.89 meters. That's also possible. Okay? Does that does that make sense? Do we understand that? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right. And then it says, how long is his or her hair? I gave you different lengths before. She has shoulder length hair. He has short hair. He is bald. Um, she, she has, um, you know, short, um, she has shaved head, et cetera, et cetera. What color is his or her hair? She is gray haired. Okay. Um, you can also say, it's also possible to say, for example, he has, um, light, um, sandy, sandy hair, and what that means, light is light, to, to, it's the opposite of dark, right, so it's, it's, um, it's claro, sandy, referring to, the sandy is like, well, you think about the color of sand, right, the color of sand is like, like, like yellowish, so sandy hair is talking about um, like a blonde, but more like a dirty blonde, okay? So piensen como que es un, un como que fuera un, un, un rubio, bueno, literalmente un, un rubio, dirty blonde is literally rubio, um, ay, se me ha ido la palabra, uh, rubio, eh, teñido. No, 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 no. Dirty bond. Dirty, dirty. Um, es rubio sucio. Entonces, no. un rubio Blanca. sucio es como, como un rubio oscuro. Oxidado. Plateado. Como, ajá. Mm, mm -hmm, como, no, no platinado, no. Es more, it's more like um, como cenizo. Como un, un rubio cenizo. So this is like a light, light sandy hair would be like like un cenizo claro, pero no es cenizo porque cenizo es ash, okay, so that's different. And then we have what color are his or her eyes? He has hazel eyes. Hazel, I explained to you that hazel is like a, it's a color between brown, green, and sometimes gray. It's a mix, right? And I told you, I think that I believe in El Salvador, they call this ojos pardos, right? So like kind of like multiple colors in one, but it's usually, it has more like green and gray in it. That's mostly. Um, and then we have um, the color of the skin. Okay. You had a question? I have a question. Uh, is there to say um, dark brown eyes? Sorry, could you repeat that? It's correct to say um, dark, dark brown eyes. Yeah, that's correct. You can also say dark, right? Dark brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can have light and then the color light sandy, light brown, light green. Okay, or you can have dark brown, dark green, etc. etc. Okay, um, okay, uh, and then the color of the skin we can say she is light skinned, so we can put the ed at the end of skin and put this hyphen light skinned. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Okay, and then we have um, he has dark brown skin. Okay, and so we can also say that, you know, dark brown skin, saying like a, it's a, the color is very, um, very, very dark. Okay, that's dark brown skin. Any questions at this moment? No, 
no corte. Okay, all right. Now for homework, I asked you to describe two or three people from this list of people. All of these people are very different, right? If you notice, they are all very different. Um, they have different skin color. They have different hair, texture and color and length. Some of them are wearing glasses. Um, others, um, they are short, others are tall. Some are young, some are older. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is you're going to be, remember yesterday we did a game that you had to guess who the person is by, by giving the, the description? Well, you're gonna be doing the same thing here. You're gonna, but instead of just giving the description, your partner's gonna ask the question. They're gonna ask questions like, what does he look like? Or what does she look like? What does he or, does he or she wear glasses? Yes or no. How old is he or she? How tall is she, he or she? How long is his or her hair? What color is his or her hair? What color are his or her eyes? What color is his or her skin? So your partner is going to be asking you these questions and you're going to be just responding and then you're going to guess who, your, who the partner, who the person is. Does that make sense? Do we understand what we're going to be doing? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to get you to work in groups. Sorry. No, let me, let me get you to work in, in pairs instead. Okay. Se me vaya. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and I'm opening the groups right now. Um, aquí está. Ahí está. Okay. Okay. Um, what does she look like? What does she look like? Mm -hmm. Mm. For the one woman, yes, is a uh, short, short, curly brown, brown light. Okay, remember, you have to start with she has or she is, and then you have to say whatever you're describing. Okay. okay. She has the short curly brown hair and the black skin. Okay. And okay, wait, wait until the eyes. Ask, no, wait till she asks her questions, okay? Just give her one information at a time. So then she asked, um, then she asked, for example, um, 
what color is her hair, for example, right? Okay, what color is her hair? And then you can give the information. Don't give it all from the, at the same time. Is the people teacher? Sorry? Who is the people? Because uh, in the picture is a uh, whole people. Is a specific person. You had to choose. The instructions were choose two to three people from the from the from the picture. Okay. And then okay. you are going to describe them. Okay, I understand. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The one people is a woman is 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 a is a man. The man is the short hair. Okay. Short black hair. Wait, wait, wait. wait till she asks the questions. Give her information one at a time. So don't give her all of the information. She asks, for example, what does she look like? You say she is tall. Does she wear glasses? No, she doesn't. How old is she? She's in her 20s. Okay. Et cetera, et cetera. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay. No, it's, it's question and answer. Don't give her all the information. It's a conversation. Question and answer. Okay. Um, okay. What does he look like? The first person. Um, a yellow picture. Wow. La chinita. La chinita. La chinita. Islam. The A is Islam. Um, no sé qué más podríamos agregarle ahí. The color of, of the, your eye. Hair? Hair? Eye? The color hair? The color hair? Is that brown? Peli roja? Peli roja? Yo la veo peli roja. <laughs> red, red hat. Wow. <laughs> yes, dice las chinitas, yo le veo pelo rojo. <laughs> um, cierto. She doesn't have glasses. Um, she doesn't. The glasses. Oh, Ella no tiene lentes. No, but what's your term? He doesn't. She... She, oh, no, she is. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. Have a have yeah. have a glass. Very good. He doesn't have okay. glasses. Have a glass. Um. She's she. She dumb. Is dumb. Is, no. She doesn't be very tall. She's a... She's in her... In her 20... 25? Or 27? Mm -hmm. How tall is she? No, she, let me see the word. <laughs> can see that. And what was the word she is? She's 
medium high. Okay. How long is her hair? Her hair. 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 <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, all if she she is about uh, 33 yeah okay okay the other question how tall is she how tall how tall is she is she how tall is she? She is a uh, one meter, one meter, uh, sixty-two. Okay. The other question: How long is her hair? Uh, she has short hair. Okay. What color is her hair? Is her? Okay. What color is her hair? Uh -huh. Hair. Mm -hmm. Hi. Um, a pale skin. Um. Twenty. Um. She doesn't wear glasses. She, she doesn't wear glasses, yes. She looks happy. Yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, okay. Uh, the tall all all um all the question. Right. Uh, right. Tell me who wants I'm talking. Who who do you think I'm talking about? Mm, the um the equal the equal um person yeah the the, the, the girl that has what color but what very good okay um mm, how tall is she she's about 157 years okay um mm, what color is, um, don't remember uh, the question is, what color is her height? Brown. Um, Light brown. Mm -hmm, okay. Um, what color is her skin? Skin. Yes, the skin. Um, I think yellow skin. Yellow skin, very good. Um, um I, he's the old question. <laughs> no, you don't have to make all the questions. So just tell me who I'm who, who um, yeah. Hello, teacher. Hi, what happened? Hi. It's so quiet. We finished um, the three examples. Oh, okay, wonderful. Okay, any questions? Um, for the moment. <laughs> okay, good. I will see you in the in the in the um in this main session in a moment. Okay. Okay. El de gris es sticky, sticky hair. It has sticky hair. Okay. 
He has. He has. Questions? Barba. Para decir el barbado. Para decir qué? Él es, eh, tiene barba o es barbudo, como dicen. That, that's, that's a beard. 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 Yes, it's a beard. That's, that's, beard. that's a beard. beard. Any other questions? Only that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay. Um, I think uh, we have the majority of everybody here. So um, I had I gave you there the opportunity to share with your classmates um, some of the um, of your your description. Um, I hope you had enough practice. And before we leave, um, eh, Modi, so you were asking about. Uh, section 4.6. What is the problem with section 4.6? What, what, what do you not understand, Mauricio? For example, is the, question one: How old is your brother? My brother is 26 years old. Me aparece en rojo. Y le, le doy vuelta, le doy vuelta a la... A, y, okay, y, so the, que, the answer is, my brother is 26 years old. What but, is the question, Mauricio? Va, me aparece en el rojo cuando, de todas me aparecen en el rojo, pero, por ejemplo, la, la, la question, question one, yo pongo, or or is your brother? Sorry, what, what did you put? What, what is the answer that you put? What is the answer? ¿Cuál es la respuesta que se ha puesto en la 1? How old is your brother? Okay. Ya sé cuál es el problema. You can take it. You can take it all, off. It's very simple, Mauricio. Le, le va a dar cólera cuando le cuando le diga. <laughs> Um, you put the question mark and you do not have to put in question mark. Just eliminate the question mark. Okay. 
¿Qué, qué tal el signo de interrogación? Ya no me digan más. Ya no me digan más. <laughs> Le dije que le iba a dar cuál. Okay. <laughs> I know, it, it happens. Thank it's you. okay, it's okay, Mauricio. It happens. It happens to everybody. <laughs> a mí me ha pasado también. No, eh, eh, y eso, eso, eso es un buen punto. Um, eh, Mauricio, it's a good thing that you did this mistake because it helps us to understand um, and see something like this. It can happen to everybody, and I've seen it happen many, many, many times to different students. So just be careful. Spaces, periods, commas, eh, question marks. Ma that Ma you, Ma Ma you have to be careful with that. Um, a veces simplemente es un espacio que dejó a usted al principio de la, de la respuesta y ni se dio cuenta que hay un espacio al principio de la pregunta. De la, de la respuesta. Algo tan sencillo. So you have to be very, very, very careful. Be very meticulous. And uh, Mauricio, you also had a question about um, the final exam. What is the question about the final exam? Part D. Okay, everything from part D or a specific number? Como lo dije, este, las he ordenado de diferente forma y siempre, siempre me salen cosas. De una forma lógica. Um, en esta le sugiero que no ponga, también que no ponga eh, periods, por ejemplo. Tal vez puede, revise eso, tal vez ha puesto periods. ¿Mm? Okay. And, and also make sure that you you um, put the contractions, right? The the apostrophes in the correct place, okay? And okay. what you can do what you can do is send me a, a picture, Mauricio, in the WhatsApp group, and I can help you see what the problem is, okay? Okay, okay guys. Okay. Y, y Lorena, you wanted to say something? Yes, because in, in that, in the final exam, there is a problem. I, there is a, a word that isn't, that isn't okay. It's eight in Hindi. The second, maybe it's the second, that is eight, like uh, ocho, eight. And, and that's not the word. The word is with the, the altura, H-E-I-G-H-T. Where, where are you looking at, Lorena? At the final exam. In yes, the, what the section? Scramble, in the scramble word. When, when section D? I, I'm, I'm finished. I'm, I'm not, I'm just telling for the people because. Yes, but I, I want to understand if it's final exam section D? If, if the section D is the scramble word, yes. Okay, what number? The. Second one that um, talk about Cindy. Cindy has long hair. Number three. Uh huh. And, and then there is a word hate. Hate. Uh, that is, You're that, absolutely right. Uh, yes. Thank you for pointing that out, Lorena. I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take note of that, and I will tell the. Um, I will tell the technicians so that they can change it tomorrow. Thank you. I will take note of that. Yes, I saw it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So everybody, you you can take note of that. There is the the word in exercise three, section D, of final exam, should be height, not eighth. Height is spelled H, E, I, G, H. T. Okay, so just be careful with that. Yes, I will. I will let them know um, so that we can fix that. Thank you very much, Lorena. Okay, any other questions? No question. May okay. I? Sorry.
Okay, uh, what we're going to do is, um, today I'm going to give you a break, no homework, okay? So, um, just work on the platform. That's what I really want you to do. That's your homework. Work in the platform, okay? So that's it, guys. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye